enforcement professionals have long recognized the benefit of elevated surveillance capabilities. However, not until the invention of the patented MUST technology has the world seen a surveillance platform that is both mobile and capable of rapid response. Designed for ease of deployment when the mission is critical, the MUST Mobile Utility Surveillance Tower combines the functionality needed to respond to any changing emergency situation or surveillance requirement. MUST uses its own all-terrain vehicle to deploy an elevated tower and climb a controlled capsule to an eye level of 25 feet. The tower can be fully deployed by one person at any location in less than two minutes without leaving the vehicle. The observation capsule provides a working platform for a variety of surveillance devices such as digital or thermal imaging camera systems, computers, communications, or radio equipment. Unlike other surveillance towers on the market, the Terrahawk Must does not require any other vehicle for pulling a trailer. Fully powered by a lithium-ion battery system, the MUST meets 50 state EPA emission standards and does not require a generator for power. Law enforcement agencies are saying the MUST unit is simple to deploy, vastly cost-effective in terms of manpower and additional resources, and tactically practical in providing a set of human eyes to work in tandem with other surveillance equipment. The capsule can be fitted with level 3A ballistic panel. It also has been tested and certified for straight line wind speeds up to 40 miles per hour. There is an onboard controller that operates the automatic stabilization system. With its three-phase lockout system, it is virtually impossible to move the MUST tower from its elevated observation position. When vantage point is your greatest advantage, the MUST stands ready. Don't assume it was left by accident. If you see something, say something. The state of Texas is dealing with those devastating wildfires we've been telling you about, fueled by a severe drought. Now, some folks are trying to do something about it by wringing a little more rain from the few clouds that are in the sky. Nearly 85% of Texas is in exceptional drought conditions right now, 99% considered severe or worse. This is being called the worst drought year on record there. Some parts of Texas have seen 68 days with temperatures above 100 degrees. Check out the map. Yellow showing states that are abnormally dry in this country. The dark red means exceptional drought conditions. With us now, Stephanie Beal, the project meteorologist for the Southwest Texas Rain Enhancement Association. Stephanie, rain enhancement we're basically talking about cloud seeding, right? Yes, that's correct. And how do you know that it works? You're sending up airplanes uh, that drop flares that burn silver iodide, and that, that puts silver iodide particles into clouds, right? Yes, that's correct. Um, we actually, here in Texas, we fly at the base of the cloud. Um, we're looking for the inflow region of the thunderstorm, and this is what mechanism we use to actually actually get the, uh, the silver iodide into the proper part of the cloud where we want it to go to enhance the rainfall. But how do you know that it works? I mean, how do you, how do you measure rainfall from a cloud you've seeded versus <laughs> what might have happened if you hadn't done anything? Um, here in Texas, we actually have an analysis done annually uh, for each of the six projects that's operating currently. Um, what the analysis does, it actually compares the seeded clouds to a non-seeded cloud, say outside the target area, or maybe a cloud that formed uh, right along the target area border that was going to move out anyways. Um, the gentleman, the, uh, the scientist, I'm sorry, that does the analysis um, will compare the seeded versus non-seeded clouds and use the non-seeded as a control, which um, has a similar characteristic, similar type of air mass and, and such as the, uh, the seeded cloud. And he does a math mathematical analysis on that. And from that, we can tell um, how much additional rainfall we are actually producing. The, uh, the idea, I guess, I mean, those thunderstorm clouds contain obviously a huge amount of water, but what you're trying to do is to get them to drop their water more gradually and not just dump it all in one place as a thunderstorm can tend to do? 
Um, what we're trying to aim to do when we're seeding clouds, we don't necessarily try to increase the intensity, although we do see that sometimes. Uh, the main goal of what we're doing to do is trying to get to them, get them to rain, uh, I guess, stay alive longer, if you will. And so therefore, as they travel longer distances, they can drop rainfall over a larger amount of land than they would have if they were not seeded. This used to be uh, a state project, but it's my understanding the Texas funding for this kind of thing dried up. So you're actually paid for, you're actually funded by some of these water districts in the state? Yes, that's correct. Um, in 2002, before 2002, um, we had matching state funds. In 2002, there was a budget crisis, and they were no longer uh, able to give us matching funds. So most of the projects that are still operating today um, were able to pay off all of the equipment uh, that was needed for the projects, the airplanes and other things. So now, yes, all the, the six projects that are running currently are only operating from local taxpayers and other uh, water municipalities through the water districts. Well, it is gold when it falls from the sky, especially in a year like this. Stephanie Beal, we wish yes. you well. Uh, earlier today, we had an incident on the major interconnected transmission system in the Pacific Southwest that is affecting our power supply right now here in San Diego. We've had indication from the California Independent System Operator which operates the entire grid for California, and they operated that out of a operation center that is uh, outside of Sacramento, that an event happened on a transmission line, a 500 kV transmission line, between Arizona and uh, California. And that particular transmission line went out, they tried to retest it, and when it retested, caused some instability and voltage loss uh, in that area. Hello everyone, welcome to Global Government News. Today is Friday, September 9th, 2011. I'm Darko. This is part three, the final part for today. GGNonline.com is my website. That's www.ggnonline.com or ddarko2012 on YouTube. That's ddarko2012. All right. Um, also, uh, check out all the headlines and links in YouTube's video description. I hope you enjoy these uh, videos uh, that I included in the beginning here. Some of them were um, from viewers that uh, sent them to me or posted them in Global Government uh, News Facebook group. So thank you for doing that. Appreciate it. And, um, yeah, so this was a PR piece is what it was um, because I already know that there's these small-time uh, uh, little cloud seeding uh, Cessnas that are out there. I, I know that. My question is, what the fuck are these big 747 hollowed out modified planes that are flying at 50,000 feet and they're spraying from horizon to horizon? Who are paying those bastards? That's who I want to know. I want to know who those people are. Because I already know about the UN, uh, you know, uh, basically it wasn't a full ban, but it was a UN treaty or a UN, uh, basically a charter that was signed back in the 70s. Uh, that said that uh, that governments could not pay or weaponize, pay for weaponize or fund uh, a weather modification for military applications, right? Now they're talking about, ooh, did you see up there? I pointed it about, ooh, they need funding. They got cu funding cut off. Guys, this is what it's for. They're selling this. They create the problems with HARP and all this, the heat, and they created the heat. They created the droughts. They created the floods. They created the hurricanes. They created the, uh, uh, what was the last thing, the tsunami in Japan, the earthquakes. They created every fucking one of them. And excuse my language, but I'm just tired of seeing this. They're creating and manufacturing the weather, and then they're coming out like a little advertisement and uh, using this and this woman to sell it so they can get more federal tax dollars to pay for it and it's going to be for civilian humanitarian missions no it's going to go straight towards using it as a weapon which they're already doing like in pakistan when they created those floods and then in came the polio vaccinations and then boom came uh um, polio so i mean it's just again and again. I gotta keep moving. Uh, also, with this uh, this power outage, I wonder what those events were. Hmm. Terra Hawk showcases its mobile surveillance vehicle. This is September 8th. So this Thursday, Terra Hawk LLC will show off its mobile utility service tower uh, to members of the U.S. House of Representatives and the Senate, along with their staffs. So go in there and check it out. Talk about law enforcement agencies can quickly set up mobile surveillance towers. Well, don't worry, they're already set up in the United States. They've been in Walmart and Target man 
supercomputer predicts civil unrest, so you don't need a supercomputer to tell you that, but hey, they're just letting the sheeple know. It says here, police can track your cell in real time. As Florida court said, the police didn't violate a drug dealer's rights when they use a cell phone to pinpoint his whereabouts as he drove across the st state. So go in there and talk about, uh, go in there and check it out. It talks about state of modern tracking technology. That's right. All of those little cell phones that you carry are little GPS devices to track you and keep tabs on you. So keep the batteries in and keep them on you next to your crotch so you can sterilize yourself and maybe towards your head nice and close so you can get a tumor. And then they can put in this little chip that emits RF frequencies to monitor the tutor, the tumor so it can keep giving you a tumor. You like that? That rationale? Another PR piece. In conjunction with the Tewksbury Police Department and Tewksbury Memorial High School, Vanguard Managed Solutions, Mansfield, Massachusetts, formerly Motorola Multi-Service Networks Division, issue is a safe watch security approach to alleviate security concerns at high school. Motorola is helping the local law enforcement respond to emergencies by providing real-time or archive access to information and in potentially dangerous situations. So go down there and read the crap about how they're going to justify uh, basically spying on students and while, even while they're in the bathroom, which they've been caught doing and uh, giving their laptops, uh, uh, issuing laptops, school laptops, and then Time, uh, chiming in, tapping into the camera, and then busting, watching students, and then busting them for eating Mike and Ike candies, think, calling them drugs. CEO Schmidt admits Google Plus is a massive data mining advertising scheme. Go check it out. I got a lot to get to still. Is, is this Britain's most lucrative camera? Bus Lane snoops, uh, rakes in almost 20,000 pounds a day in fines. So uh, go in there and check that out. And then next up, we have eight Star Trek gadgets that are no longer fiction this is right uh, i'm not a big trackie but i do like star trek especially the old ones uh beam me up and it's talking about the flip phone that's right and think about those big giant phones that they had in the 80s they could have had them smaller back then they just knew that it would freak people out uh if they saw that technology so soon so they give them these big honking phones to get them used to it and then we make fun out of it and say ha ha we've progressed we've gotten so much better isn't this great technology we're just so and free the iPad right there by Captain Jean Luc Picard. Then we have Bluetooth headsets. That's right. And then we had oh yeah, that was um, uh, Lieutenant Uhura. Remember she's a communications officer. That's why she had it. Then moving on, we have uh, tricorders talking about sensors scanning data analysis and recording data. The floppy disk and USB drives, voice activation and GPS. I got to keep moving here, guys. Check it out. We have uh, wireless high-tech uniform with woven-in aerials enables soldiers to see through the eyes of colleagues on battlefield. Right, that's right. Remember what I said. Eventually, it's going to be all machines and no humans because they can't trust humans. Humans have a soul, and they might do the right thing. Tanks test infrared invisibility cloak. Tanks could soon get a nighttime visibility thanks to a cloaking device uh, created by the military industrial complex uh, via your tax dollars. Hackers could turn off your car engine while you're driving. And you think hackers uh, created this? No, the cops are using it. It was created for them. Zap the brain with magnets makes it impossible to lie, claims scientists. Two things. How do they know this? Because they're checking for it. They want you to not be able to lie. You go through those metal detectors. You go through the body scanners. That's all uh, magnetic resonance. So just remember that. Uh, we have brain stents designed to prevent strokes actually double the risk. And that's, again, the point. Eugenics. Security firm Blackwater makes a killing on Xbox War Game where players are mercenaries. Next up, we have Virginia County removes Sherlock Holmes from school reading list. But ACLU wants to force... Uh, school district to allow access to LGBT, that's late gets me and bi, transsexual websites via school computer. Lifetime ban on gay men donating blood is lifted after 20 years and anger at porn images, slogans on baby clothes. That's right. Uh, really crazy stuff with like serial killers. Lady Gaga to rock Times Square. So she's going to usher in 2012. Uh, uh, Luciferian's golden child. Next up, we have UN chief warns illiteracy could destabilize societies. That's right. They could if they start to uh, uh, turn away from the rewritten history indoctrination. Council backs longer school day. That's why. Because they want more indoctrination. Nation. David Cameron, parents of truancy, face benefit cuts because they want more indoctrination, more written history, better slaves. E Employment opportunity uh, sues trucking company for sidelining alcoholic driver. Then we have three U.S. 
6.4 earthquake off Vancouver, then prison population in the UK at record level. But US prison population endorsed that of other nations. Antibiotics may permanently alter your guts. Then Russian's minister visits Iran's nuclear plant opening. Then China warns the US over Taiwan's weapons. Thank you.